welcome back to the vlog, episode two. Today we're working on Ego. Let's get it. Perfect. Did you look back at me when you walked away? Walked away. Uh, I miss the golden state, the landscape, palm trees, and beaches. I go about four or five times a month. Yo, Yo, my boy. Welcome to work, gang. Sticks. <laughs> oh my god. All right, let's get into it. Like, what what's the process of CMYK? Like, how does it work? Cause it's only four colors, right? Yeah. So CMYK, think about it like this: uh, a home printer, right? When you switch the ink, there's four colors, right? There's cyan, magenta, black, and yellow. Mm -hmm. So with CMYK print, it's the same process. You're using those four colors to make a full color image. So I, I can show you over here. Yeah. So these already these look pretty good. This is yellow. We got black, magenta, and yellow. Mm -hmm. Once we print all of it, it should give us an image that looks like this. Printed by the guru. Exactly. Yeah. Nigo part two. The Dominican Nigo. Oh, your Nigo. <laughs> okay, one thing that's very important when doing CMYK prints is the registration. If the registration is not on point, it's not gonna work out. So for example, if let's say this is yellow, if the yellow is even a centimeter off, when you go ahead and print all of the colors, it's not gonna look right. So very important. Like what's like what's the process? Can you flash like after each color or with CMYK prints, you uh you print wet on um, what's it called? Wet on wet? Yeah, wet on wet, yeah. Yeah, so you're printing all of the colors first and then you dry it at the end. Okay, so no dry in between. No, so what happens if you do dry it one by one, after each flash dry, it kind of like, the fabric scrunches up. So mm. the next print, it's not gonna fall perfectly. Okay, so it goes, it like, it messes up the registration yeah, like yeah. how you said before. So print all of them first, and then the last step is dry them. Mm -hmm. Another quick tip, very important. You want to make sure your palettes are tapped. If they're not, there's a high chance that when you print these, because the, the CMYK ink is, is very sticky. So when you print it, if you don't put enough tack, it'll lift it up and it's going to shift the whole image. Mm -hmm. So first thing, don't forget. So these are three colors in, right? Yeah, so we three colors in. We're about to do the black now. And this, the black ink is kind of what ties it all together. Okay. Let's see how this looks. Ooh. Ooh. That shit looks crazy. That shit looks amazing. Only four colors, bro. I need to flex, but TDR. Yeah. The best at this shit, bro. High key, high key. Oh, we got oh. yo, perfect time. <laughs> Genesis, hold on, please, please, for the vlog. I'm sorry. Where can I put these down? Uh, right here. Oh, so you put we got a pizza party. Yay. <laughs> yo, next week, tune in. We have a spell. <laughs> <laughs> next week. <laughs> Next week. <laughs> and next week, tune in. I have a special interview, me and my boy Sticks. We're talking about how I started to where I am now. Very special interview. Tune in. Blah. What's the word, my boy? What's going on? Last minute order. Roger Dubois. What they making, gang? What's that? Ribbon. They having a new store open up on Wooster. On Wooster. For letting us be part of the process. Playing Jane Roger Dubois on satin. But the satin, quick tip, you want to use water-based. Water-based, yes, sir. With this, anything that's like satin or 
Uh, oh, rayon? Nylon, yeah, rayon. Nylon, anything, that, any light fabric. Yeah. Fabric. If you put too much heat on it, it'll... It'll shrink. It'll shrink. Yeah. And burn. So when water base, it dries by itself. For the most part, Anything yeah. delicate, use water base. Alright guys, that's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlogs. We got more on the way. Tune in next Sunday. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>